Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm a stay-at-home mom to five girls currently living in Texas and I enjoy posting a lot of cleaning, organizing, and decluttering videos. I'd love to have you join my YouTube family, so if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And I actually lost some footage on the cleaning portion and it's very upsetting, but I was not able to get it back. I tried recovering the clips and I was not able to, so I will actually just be tidying up my living room space which is what I do every time my daughters go down for their nap I like to just refresh the space so that way when they get up they can make a mess and do it all over again so I'm just gonna focus on cleaning this up and then I can move on to organizing my fridge I have an HEB order that I need to pick up later on today but I do like to make sure that my fridge is clean so that way I'm not shoving the groceries in there and I also do want to organize it so we'll focus on that in a minute If this is your first time here, um, we are focusing on doing a little bit more of the Montessori approach with my toddlers and it has been so nice seeing my daughters just being able to do things for themselves like this little station here is for them to be able to put their shoes on and she's doing it all by herself. It is the cutest thing. Um, but let me know if you all do something similar at your home. More than anything, we're not doing like full-blown um, strict Montessori. It's just being able to teach them a little bit of independence. So let me know if you all do the same thing. Okay, before I start organizing, I wanted to quickly show you what my fridge looks like now. I'm not going to worry about the doors because there's not really much that you can do to organize there. But I would like to get um, a few more. Actually, I already got them, but I would like to use a few more of these clear bins here. I got those from TJ Maxx. And I'd like to have an area. Actually, let me show you. Uh, real quick, in my last organizing video, I mentioned this book to you all, and I still have it because I uh, renewed it at the library. Um, this Confessions of an Organized Homemaker. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You'll have to get this and read it or, or check it out, whatever, to read it. Um, but she mentioned quite a few things, but another takeaway aside from my last kitchen organized uh, organizing video, uh, another takeaway that I got was that she mention grouping things that you use to make it easier so i think what i'm going to do is use a bin to put like all the salad stuff in one bin because i don't eat i love salads don't get me wrong but having to search for everything and take everything out of the fridge and find all the things to make a salad it's just a little tedious for me especially with kids and all it's just i need to do it quickly so if i could just grab the bin out of the fridge and have everything in it already that would make life so much easier and i could actually make a salad so um let me show you real quick the bins that i got from tj maxx i also got these from the dollar tree a dollar each obviously i think i'm going to use one in our fridge outside and then one for, for the fridge inside if if i use them i think i will use at least one and then i got these from tj maxx as well uh let's see this one was 2.99 i got three of these don't know if i'll use all of them but i got them just in case uh, I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure where I'm going to use them yet. I just wanted to make sure I have them. And if I don't use them all, my goodness, I can't pick this up. Okay. <laughs> if I don't use them all, then I can just return them. And then I got this medium-sized one. I think I'm going to do like sandwich stuff in this one. Um, and have this one ready to go if we want to make sandwiches, we can. And this is the one that I'm going to use for the salad stuff. I'll have like the spinach, the everything that it goes in a salad. I like everything, so to list everything is too much. But <laughs> I'll have everything in this bin. This one was five, uh, four ninety nine. Yeah, four ninety nine for this one, two ninety nine for this one, and then three ninety nine for that. So that's actually not too bad compared to like Target. I've seen some like something like this is like twelve dollars, which to me is a little bit ridiculous. I love Target, but come on, that's that's a little too much for a bin. So let's start organizing and see how I can fit all of these into our fridge to make it look a little bit neater. When I used 
to organize in the past, and I'm talking like before kids, I used to take everything out, whether I was organizing the fridge or the pantry to start with like a blank canvas, but I just don't have the time for that now. If you do, that's great, but personally, I know that I'm going to have kids calling for me in the middle of it all, so I'd rather do it by sections. And I'm starting off at the top, taking everything out, and I'm using one of the small ones for the butter, and the one that I was gonna use for like the sandwich stuff, I'm actually going to use it instead for all of the cheese that we have in the fridge. We do have quite a few different uh, types of cheese, like the cracker cheese, shredded, mozzarella, all of that. So I wanna just keep it all together. So I will use the medium bin for that, and then I can move on to the other sections in the fridge. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth So quick question for you all, do you have just one fridge in your home or do you have one in the garage as well? We have one in the garage, but it's mostly for like the beverages, but I'm starting to think that maybe I can use that one for our leftovers just to try to get get it out of our fridge. The only problem I see with that, and I know it, this is probably going to happen in the beginning, is forgetting that the leftovers are there. Because I have had, like when we go to Costco that we buy like in bulk, we'll buy whether it's produce or whatever it is, um, we have to put in the fridge outside because we don't have room inside. I'll end up forgetting about it. And like a week, week or two will pass by and I'll go outside to get something to drink. And we have like, for instance, like a bag of pears or something and they've all gone bad. So I don't know. I'd like like to try that just to make a little more room here for other things that we want to have in this fridge but let me know if you have one in your garage and if you are able to keep up with it like when you put leftovers in there or if you forget like I do Recently, my husband and I have been on a cold brew kick. I had a pumpkin spice cold brew a couple weeks ago at Starbucks and ever since then I've been wanting one like every day and obviously it gets way too expensive to get uh, one from Starbucks. So we did pick up the Stoke cold brew, which is actually I think better than the Starbucks one. Let me know if you think the same thing. But um, I normally would prefer hot coffee, but ever since then, I don't know what it is. I guess just that cold feeling, you know, with the ice on your teeth. I don't know what it is. Um, if you like cold, cold brew or um, iced coffee, you'll probably agree with me. But let me know if you prefer hot coffee or if you like cold brew. And do you like Stoke or Starbucks? Because I think I do like Stoke better than Starbucks. Okay, I'm done and it actually wasn't too bad, but what helps is that I do clean out my fridge once a week before I go grocery shopping so that it doesn't get too bad. But over here, I ended up using the Dollar Tree bin for the drinks and I like the way it looks. And I also had this one, it has a lid, but I chose not to put the lid on it because it's just easier to just grab it and not have to worry about taking off the bin and all, I mean the lid. So I did uh, put this one back in the fridge, some salsa that my husband makes, which by the way is so good. And then I used this one after all for all of the cheese that we have. Have. Um, I just feel like it's easier to take it out and be able to get all any cheese that we want because we're always looking for it in the bag. It just makes it easier to be able to find it in one spot and then I used one for one of these small ones for all of our butter. 
um, for yogurt. And then this is the salad stuff. As you can tell, we need to get groceries because we don't have everything that I normally get for salad. So I need to stock up on that stuff. And then I'm going to use this one for leftovers. And then I had, I used this other small bin for just some kiwis that we had and I'll probably use that for fruits. And then just some random stuff here. Um, organized this a little bit better. I already had that. And then there wasn't much in there as well. So today is actually, what's today? Thursday, we're getting close to the end of the week already. So I do need to stock up on items. But anyway, I think it looks so much better. Very practical. And I really am excited for the idea of grouping things together to be able to find them. Salad stuff, cheese, whatever we need, we can actually find it now. And that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!